Hello from California, Miss Kevitt's third grade class. I got a special ed puzzle for you today. Uh, this is an activity I do with my fifth graders. My name is Mr. Manderfeld and I teach fifth grade way out here in California. But Miss Kevitt is a good family friend and was my daughter's nanny. You're gonna meet my daughter, Jalen, in a second. She's gonna teach you some stuff. But before we start the video, and you get to, there's a lot of surprises in today's video, I'd like to go over this quote. Can you guys read that silently to yourself? That's right, that quote says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. What that means is, always work hard and do something today that when you grow up, you'll thank yourself for. All right, let's get going with the video. Introduction first. Here's our, my daughter, Jalen, and she will be sharing the introduction to the video. Graders, I am calling you from my backyard in here in Palm Springs, California. Yes, that's right, I said California. Look at it, we have no snow, only sun. This is my backyard. I have a pool, this is my dog, Marley, he likes his balls, and I also have a dog named Max, which is over here. Now, you might be wondering, who am I? Well, my name is Jalen, and I'm calling you guys, and I'm making this video because when I was your age in third grade, about seven and eight and nine, my nanny was Miss Kevin. Now she's your teacher. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so I'm just going to follow along and show you guys a few tricks of what she learned and how she taught me and some things I wanted to learn when I was in your grade. Okay, so she's got some tricks to do with multiplication tables. And as you can see in this picture, it's gonna be a video. She's also holding a Minnesota Vikings guy because we're still Vikings fans even though we live in California. Okay, hopefully you learned those facts. Some from my wonderful, beautiful daughter, Miss Jalen. That's right, Miss Kevitt was her nanny when she was in third grade, just like you guys. All right, now I have a video to show you that I think you guys will enjoy. I always have some surprises in these Ed Puzzle videos. Whoa. Wait, that's not the one we want. We've got something else for you here. Let me see. Oh, yep, here it is, up here. Okay, I don't know how many of you have watched America's Got Talent before but I want to show you guys something amazing. Let me just find the video. Be patient here, be patient. It's coming, it's coming. Yes, right here. Please enjoy this video.
Now look at that, when they turn on the lights, they're just regular dancers, but they can do that amazing stuff. They combine their skills with dancing, and they combined it with another amazing skill that they had, computer programming and graphics. So someday, don't know what you guys want to be when you grow up, but you can combine two different things. All right, so this is kind of amazing to me because I teach fifth grade in California. And in fifth grade in California, we learned to classify quadrilaterals. But Miss Kevitt sent me this thing that said, you guys are already learning to classify quadrilaterals. So I made you this little diagram here. What I have, this is supposed to be an umbrella, so if I can find some blue, just wait, some raindrops. Let me make some raindrops. Raindrop, raindrop, raindrop. Can anybody guess what this is supposed to be? Yep, this is supposed to be an umbrella. So I have this diagram to represent quadrilaterals because all of these are quadrilaterals. One, two, three, four kinds of quadrilaterals. They all fall under this umbrella, so all of them are quadrilaterals. But under the umbrella, we have two different kinds of quadrilaterals. We have parallelograms and non-parallelograms. So in fifth grade, there's always questions on which one is not a parallelogram, and that's the trapezoid. But let's go back over here to parallelogram. So if you remember what parallel means, parallel means two lines that never touch. So these two lines I just drew, they'll never touch. They can be in any direction just as long as they'll never touch. So here we have a rectangle. Of course you know that shape. A rectangle is a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallel lines. This side and this side, that's one set. And this side and this side is another set. So since it has two sets of parallel lines, it's called a parallelogram. How about a square? Yes, a square has two sets of parallel lines too. It has one set here and another set here. Even in a shape like this, a rhombus. A rhombus is like a slanted rectangle or square, but here too, it has one set of parallel lines here and another set here that will never touch. But when you come over to a trapezoid, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral because it falls under the umbrella, but it only has one set of parallel lines because yes, the top and bottom will never touch, but the sides will touch because if they continued up forever, they would cross or intersect right here, therefore it's not a parallelogram. So here's my parallelograms, here's my non-parallelogram. Now let's take a look at a shape and list all of the things that it could be. So first I always try to name the shape. So what is this shape? It is a square. That's the name of the shape. What else? It's a quadrilateral. I'm just gonna write quad for time's sake, quadrilateral. It is a parallelogram. I'm just gonna write, write pair for now. Again, shorthand for parallelogram. And also, yes, it's that other thing. It's also a rectangle. That blows my mind every time. How could a square be a rectangle? Well, it's because the definition of a rectangle is a parallelogram with opposite sides equal. So this is a parallelogram with opposite sides equal. Even though this only has two sets of equal sides and this one has four, that's why it's a rectangle. I always get confused and forget that one. That's kind of a trick question. Okay, what kind of shape is this? Yep, that's right, a triangle. But that's it, because it's not a quadrilateral, because it's not a four-sided shape. And it cannot be parallelogram because it has no parallel lines because this one and this one cross and this one and this one cross, they all cross. Okay, how about this shape? Yep, it's called a trapezoid. Yep, it's a quadrilateral because it has four um, sides. But is it a parallelogram? Nope, it is not a parallelogram. So it's pretty much just a trapezoid and a quadrilateral. Finally, this interesting shape, what could this be? I like to call this a kite. But really, it's not a rhombus, it's not a rectangle, it's not a square, because squares and rectangles have to have right angles or perfect corners like this. It doesn't have any perfect corners. It's not a parallelogram because this side and this side are, but those sides aren't. And finally, it is not a, um, rhombus. So what is it? 
just a quad rilateral. So that's just a little shape quiz for you. But let's get back to some, oh look at that, I can go like that, that's pretty neat. Let's get back to some fun stuff. So I know that many of you in California, just like in Minnesota, we don't have school, we're doing online school and we're kind of stuck at home, right? So when you're stuck at home, what do you do? Probably watch a lot of TV shows and even some movies. How many of you like dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs. And one of the most famous dinosaur movies, of course, is Jurassic Park. But I have this other cool video for you to watch. It is about Jurassic Park, but it's Jurassic Park Fallen World, but a special video commercial. So go ahead and watch this video and enjoy. It takes Jurassic World meets parkour.
Alright kids, so enjoy your distance learning with Miss Kevitt. I'll try to get, if you like this video, um, tell her and we will try to get you another one made in the next couple of weeks. Bye from California.